Welcome back everybody, 7.39 is your time here on Weekend Daybreak. I'm really excited about this. The FDA just approved a drug that could help millions of women who suffer from, a painful, from painful symptoms of endometriosis. And with us today is Dr. Kaylin Silverberg. He is with the Texas Fertility Center to talk to us more about what this means. And welcome, Dr. Silverberg. We've Thank done you. How are you? Good. We've done good. several stories together. We so, um, And you've been here before in our right. old studio. But right. Have you been in the new studio? It's a nice What do you place. think? Very I, nice, right? I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. And first of all, tell us what endometriosis is. So endometriosis is a condition where uterine lining grows outside the uterus. So when a woman has a period, instead of all those cells going out, they can go backward. They can come out of the opening of the fallopian tube and they can land on the ovaries, the bowel, the bladder. They attach and they grow. And as they grow, they make chemicals that can cause pain and also infertility. And it is much more common than uh, most of us know. I mean, some of us have had it and not know it. Right. And uh, so what is this new drug and how does it work? So the new drug is called Elagolix. And what it does is it works on a little gland that lives behind the nose called the pituitary gland. Oh. It turns off the hormones that stimulate estrogen production from the ovary. And estrogen is the fuel that makes the endometriosis fire burn. Okay. And so if we can take the estrogen out of the room, the endometriosis will burn out. Okay, and we're looking at video. I think this is the last story we did together. Oh, back, yeah. Yeah, back in April. And There's our us, chapter. Yeah, and this <laughs> is literally the chapter you wrote about endometriosis, right? About, right, yeah. so we've been doing endometriosis research for 25 years right. in our practice at Texas Fertility. And because of that, I was asked years ago to write the chapter in the textbook of gynecology about endometriosis. And tell us some of the things that are most commonly misperceived, some of the things we don't know about endo. The most common misperception is, is that it's an easy disease to diagnose. It's actually not um, because the severity of the disease and the severity of the symptoms have nothing to do with each other. Right. You know, in medicine, we love it when people have worsening symptoms and that means worsening disease because it's easy to diagnose. This is the opposite. Right. And so again, what are some of the symptoms women need to look out for so they can go to a doctor? Sure. Pain with periods, non-menstrual pelvic pain. So, you know, kind of off and on chronic pain, pain that's getting worse, pain with intercourse, um, you know, symptoms like that. Those are really the most common. And so this drug, who is it good for and who is it not good for? It's really good for anybody who's having pel uh, pelvic pain that's thought to be due to endometriosis. And the great thing about it is it's a pill. So the drug that we've had that we've been using for years now is given by injection. It's given once a month or once every three months. It works really well, but once it's injected, you can't do anything about it. If you don't like the side effects, you're right. stuck with it for a month to three months. This is a pill, and if you don't like it, and you don't like how it makes you feel, it's you stop gone. it and it's gone in a day. So is it just once a day or it's, is it? It can be given either once a day for up to two years or it can be given twice a day for six months. How about that? How about that? That yeah. is really exciting, right? It's great. Is it covered by insurance? It is, it oh. is. It is. So it's a great That's, new treatment option for the 15 to 30 million American women who have endometriosis. Will that take place of the surgery then? It can. It can. And there's, you know, surgery is still going to always have a place because if you have a big cyst of endometriosis, for example, in the ovary, right. if it's three centimeters or larger, the medicines aren't going to work. You've got to go get that and take that cyst right, out. Right, right, right. Awesome. Dr. Silberberg, always good to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks for waking up and enlightening all of us. Pleasure. And so to learn more about endometriosis, just visit our resources at KVU dot com. Awesome.